today, race cars capable of over 200 miles per hour take on a far more romantic image. Ken Squire talks with fans, not to fans. This track, more than any other track, is fun. We're here at Brooklyn, Michigan this afternoon. I'm Ken Squire. He could explain it to you in layman's terms. 41 drivers are lined up for this, the most prestigious stock car race in the world. Ken Squire grew up in Waterbury, Vermont. As the son of a radio station owner, he began listening to racing broadcasts at an early age. Squire began his career at the radio station and soon found himself in a track public address booth. His skills caught the attention of Bill France Sr., who hired Squire to broadcast a race at Daytona. In 1970, Squire co-founded the Motor Racing Network. Listening to him on MRN, it's like, wow, he brought a whole different sound to the sport, a whole different vocabulary. The green is about to be unfurled once again on the most competitive automobile racing in the world. He was a storyteller type of an individual, and he wanted to tell stories about the drivers. One of Squire's greatest accomplishments was helping NASCAR convince CBS to cover the 1979 Daytona 500 live from flag to flag. It was a milestone in the sport's growth. To watch what Ken has meant and done for the sport, what he did behind the scenes to get that first CBS broadcast. People remember the fight and him saying, and tempers are overflowing. And there's a fight, the tempers overflowing. While he's stating the obvious, just the way that he did it, it was perfect. He was such an integral part of the growth of the cup racing. Ken Squire has been the most influential television person in the history of motorsports, hands down. Ken Squire taught me an awful lot. Ken taught me to give the sport a dignity, not to be screaming and yelling in the microphone when something happened. Ken Squire trained 90% of the people that are doing television and radio and racing today, either directly or indirectly. I think his greatest impact are the additions to the NASCAR lexicon that he created. The Great American Race. Of the Great American Race, the Daytona 500. The Alabama Gang. The Alabama Gang. The Silver Fox. A superlative performance by the Silver Fox. Ken's efforts are as important to the sport as nearly any other driver because he became the voice of the sport. Squire was the voice of the sport for over 50 years. The longevity, the passion, and the impact he brought to the booth will never be matched. He is one of the most, if not the most, significant voices and personalities. He deserves a lot of credit for helping NASCAR get on the map. 